Rock Howard. A character who first debuted back in Fatal Fury 3 became playable in Goru, Mark of the Wolves. He is a biological son of Jeez Howard and is a student and protege of Terry Bogard. While inheriting the dark powers from his father and the focus and skills of his master, Brock is on a quest to find his own way. He has to rebuke him and the rising tackle. And according to Ryo Ba's tier list, he's currently the fourth entry in A tier right in front of Mai. Now as an A tier character, what is it that made this protege of Terry a lethal contender? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Rock Move List from Capcom vs. SNK2. We're going to go over all Rock moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Repuking. This move is Rock's projectile. To do this attack, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The light punch version travels at a slower velocity, while the medium punch variation moves a bit faster. To do the double Repuking variant, do the repuking with Furious Punch. All versions of the move only score for one hit. Use the repuking to add pressure and to help zone the opponent. The repuking is an excellent combo ender as well. Even though the double repuking does the most damage, keep in mind that it takes rocks twice as long to execute the attack. Up next is the anti-air move called the Rising Tackle. This is the move where Rock hits the opponent with a Rising Kick Strike. To do the attack, charge down for 2 seconds to press up at any punch button. Rising tackle. Rising tackle. Rising tackle. The Light Punch version hits 3 times, the Medium Punch hits 4 times, and the Fierce Punch hits 5. The Rising Tackle is a nice counter attack, but the move itself doesn't really have range and is mostly vertical. It is for this reason that it's best to use this move for countering and aerial opponents. As with most other anti-air moves, the Light Punch version is the safest to use. This is Rock version of the counter attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. Doing this move with light kick will initiate a high counter. If you do it with medium kick, you would do a mid counter, like so. And finally, Doing this with Fierce Kick will enable you to go into a low counter. If Rock is successful with the counter, he will hit the opponent with a crack shoot attack. From my understanding, this move is not a frame 1 move, 
which can make countering a bit difficult from just that point alone. But using the correct counter means you have a feeling for your opponent's attack patterns. Also, if you overuse this move, you will be severely punished, so be mindful. This move reminds me of Terry Burn Knuckle in a way. Rock would dart across the screen with an elbow attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle back plus any punch button. The hard edge is an effective attack with range and is fairly fast. The Fierce Punch version has an extra hit and is full screen, but it's mostly unsafe. This move can also be performed out of a roll as well. The Medium Punch version has the best knockdown and is best used when roll canceling. So this move is based on Rock running towards his enemy. To start the run rage, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. Press and light kick doing run rage with end in a dunk attack. Pressing medium kick doing run rage will make rock come to a stop. Pressing fierce kick doing a run rage will make rock switch positions with his opponent. The run rage can be useful as long as it's not being overused. The dunk ending will allow rock to hop over sweeping attacks while going on the offense from the air. Using medium kick can be more of a risk with Rock coming to a complete stop, but this will only work if the enemy is not anticipating it. Using fierce kick to switch positions can be beneficial, especially when escaping corners. Also, it's possible to do Rock special command grab when ending the run rage with medium kick or fierce kick. The Shinku Nage is Rock's special command grab. To do this move, do a 360 motion on the D-pad plus any punch button. Rock will grab the enemy, then toss him to the other side of the screen like yesterday's newspaper. As I mentioned before, you can use the Shinku Nage in tandem with medium kick or fierce kick version of the rage run. Also, there's a follow up attack that can be done right after the grab. This move is called Ratsatsu. In order to execute this move, press and hold all three punches as soon as Rock tosses the opponent. If you tap the buttons instead of holding them, then the move will not come out. Make sure to release the buttons before the enemy hits the ground so you can catch them with the attack. Kokosen is Rock's punch throw. Press forward and fierce punch to execute. Grappling upper is Rock's kick throw. Press forward and fierce kick to initiate. So I'm not really sure, but I know, I know forward and medium kick is a is a different attack, and it looks like it just might be, it just might be an overhead attack. I'm not sure if it's overhead or not. But if it's not an overhead attack, please let me know in the comments. The Raging Storm is the first super move I would like to discuss. This is a move where rocks hits the ground, causing a violent wave of energy surrounding his body. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward twice, plus any punch button.
So level one hits three times. Level two hits four. And level three scores for five hits. Also, the Fierce Punch version of the Super is chargeable. Just hold the punch button after performing the move. It is best to do the Raging Storm at close range for maximum impact. This super move is Rock's Rush Attack. To do the Shiny Knuckle, do a quarter circle forward twice plus any kick button. The super moves just like the hard edge, but it ends with a combo if Rock connects. Level 1 hits 4 times. Level 2 hits 6 times. And level 3 hits 10 times. Because of his fast forward movement, the shiny knuckle is great for punishment and catching opponents off guard while poking or whenever they throw a projectile. This is the last super move I would like to cover for Rock Howard. The Daily Rave is a multi-strain combo that does massive damage. To do this attack, do a half circle back then tap forward and press any kick button to make Rock dash at the enemy. If he connects, press light punch, light punch, light kick, light kick, medium punch, medium kick, fierce punch, fierce kick, quarter circle back plus fierce punch to complete the move. It is stated that the K-Groove version of Rock is best suited for the super and it has the best damage potential. Overall, Rock Howard is a balanced character with all the tools that are necessary for victory. He's basically a Shoto with a fireball and anti-air move. Even though the rising tackle is a charging move, it can't be done on the spot like a dragon punch. He has reversals and counters that can mix up the opponent if used properly. While Rock has a good mix-up game, most of his options are slow and limited. But with three super moves and being able to punish with a shining knuckle, Rock is a force to be reckoned with. Now with that being said, here are some tips to help out with Rock's gameplay. Use the shiny knuckle super to punish mistakes and enemies who love to poke. Also, the shiny knuckle can go through projectiles. The raging storm is great for reversals and can be used as an anti-air. The Deadly Rave Neo can go through projectiles as well. Use Rock Command Run and Command Throw in tandem with each other. This will enhance your mix-up game even better. It is implied that K-Groove is the best groove for Rock. Well, that's it for this video. If you like Capcom vs SNK and would like to see me cover more of these in the future, then be sure to give this video a like. With that being said, I'm Dad Mishima, see you next video.